last day of the conference. Good. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, this is my first uh, CE meeting, second presentation, and today is my birthday. So, be oh. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I will have a birthday wish at the end, so. <laughs> Uh, okay, so my name is uh, Kamila Neumann and I work for uh, Wikimedia Poland and today I'm going to share with you um, some um, tips uh, maybe uh, how to learn on others' mistakes and uh, to be honest this is something that I uh, really like uh, at my work um, according to um, According to uh, Clifton's, uh, Clifton's Strengths Assessment, one of my top uh, talents are um, <coughs> learning and input. So uh, I really enjoy uh, sharing uh, lessons with others and learning on others' mistakes and uh, case studies as well. So, um, today we're gonna talk uh, how to build better <laughs> Glam Wiki partnerships and succeed with limited resources by using, oh my god, <gasps> let me just um, try to... Is your presentation online? Maybe we can use a different computer? No, I'm not trying not. Right. not, but it's, okay, now it's, it should be stable. I think that extension key has a problem. It worked on uh, Friday because I had presentation at the same room. So better glam wiki partnerships and succeed with limited resources by using existing knowledge and resources. So I wanted to convince you that we don't have to reinvent the wheel all the time, that we can use existing knowledge and available resources. And we have uh, in Wikimedia movement we have like a plenty of opportunities to uh, seek for support and share our lessons with others. Okay, so um, in our movement we have a huge amount of uh, best practices that we can learn from. We have almost 15 years of experience in Glam Wiki activities. So we have like a huge and vast ocean of knowledge. And the problem is that, that a part of this knowledge, a portion of this knowledge is outdated and some of this knowledge is also not relevant to our needs so navigating through this vast ocean of knowledge can be a challenge and takes time but uh, does it mean that learning from others is a waste of time uh, is learning from others uh, a waste of time for you? Do you intentionally pause and dedicate your time to learn from others? Please ask yourself these questions. And also, how much time do you typically allocate to learning process each month? Because it shows your real engagement. Um, <laughs> I guess it's obvious, but for me, <laughs> Uh, learning from others is investment, it's not a waste of time, but investment in working more effectively. I guess that you may know the sharpening the saw metaphor. Just like the saw becomes dull without sharpening, we also need to sharpen our skills. Which means that we have to pause and step back from our busy schedules 
and have time to reflect, to uh, learn from others, so we could work smarter and avoid repeating mistakes and make a real progress in our work. By learning from others, we can also avoid a risk of the burnout. And because usually um, in the land area, we are responsible, like solely responsible for uh, GLAM wiki collaborations, I think that the important part of this learning process, learning from others, is that we can build a sense of community with other people from different countries. So, as I told you, we have a huge, a vast ocean of knowledge that we can use, but how to navigate through this ocean and where this ocean is. So I want to show you just a few basic resources that I use at my work um, and that um, uh, are the resource of uh, lessons learned from others. So like the, the basic one is the GLAM wiki page on outreach. Unfortunately, it is mostly uh, outdated, but still I believe there are many good examples. I really like this part on GLAM projects where you can find different examples of GLAM collaborations from different countries. So some materials are old, but uh, some remain relevant and it is still worth using them. I really like the materials from Wikimedia UK, uh, especially this uh, report, Wikimedia in Residence, they are quite old. But uh, at the beginning of my work, they helped me to understand the position of Wikipedia in Residence. And you can still find them and use them. Uh, another interesting portion of this ocean is GLAM newsletter. And uh, this is a monthly newsletter and it is written by Wikimedia users and it contains international reports regarding GLAM. I also uh, contribute to prepare the input for this uh, GLAM newsletter each month. Uh, and I think that this is like, for me, it's the best source to use because I have like a, uh, updated knowledge what is happening in GLAM now. Uh, and another source of information that we can use in order to build uh, better GLAM uh, wiki collaborations, partnerships, are different kinds of uh, conferences, such as C meeting such as GLAM Wiki Conference that was in Uruguay last year and Wikimania uh, Katowice uh, that we had on August and uh, there was a special track dedicated to GLAM. Um, but like using this whole knowledge is a challenge as I said, so I believe that <laughs> learning from Others requires careful analysis and adaptation to local conditions, which means for me that we have to transform this ocean of knowledge into our sea or even a lake, which means that, that we only need to use the lessons that are relevant to our needs. So in order to do that, we have to be aware of uh, differences <laughs> we have to be aware of differences and similarities with other regions so uh, in order to do that we have to assess our glam wiki development stage so we need to ask ourselves some questions where what are we currently focusing on where are our challenges and where mm, do we need solutions? Yeah, I believe that uh, each answer will be different because we are like similar but different at the same time. And it, it is also a moment when we can reflect on our lessons and think about how we can share our lessons.
lessons with others because I believe that this um, circulation of knowledge is, you know, we can uh, share our knowledge, but we can also use uh, knowledge of others. So, uh, let me sh shortly just explain you how my sea of knowledge uh, looks like. So, what kind of knowledge uh, I use and what kind of knowledge is relevant to Wikipedia, uh, to, to, to Polish uh, Glam uh, Wiki uh, area. So, I, um, as I said, I contribute to uh, write uh, uh, reports to Glam Wiki newsletter. This is a monthly update on what's happening in Glam Wiki. And it's a good source of information when we can somehow build our awareness where we are as a country or a region because we can compare ourselves with others. So for me, this is a place where I can like, learn from others. And this is, uh, these are like two examples. One was a report from Denmark, uh, which inspired me to um, have more reflection on a learning process, uh, on workshops, how to edit Wikipedia. Uh, and it was like a short report, but it inspired us to um, improve our Wikipedia editing workshops. Uh, I also believe that in future I will use uh, some of the Wikimedia Argentina um, experience because I know that they have a gr great course for Glam Wiki stuff and I'm not ready now to prepare this kind of course but if I will be ready I will go there and ask them for help. Um, Another source that is really relevant to uh, our needs uh, are different kind of reports. I mentioned about the Wikimedia in residence report, but I also really like the different kinds of report, like a good, uh, good practices of uh, reports on outputs from Wikipedia uh, collaborations. And this is the report that was prepared by a. Uh, Mike Dickinson, Vicky Median at large. And I really like it as a, it is well structured report and this is something that I can use in order to prepare good reports from our collaborations. I'm not sure if you know this place, but it is really nice. It's quite old and I believe it's not uh, updated. But there are some la learning patterns for, for Glam Wiki. And I really like them because they are very short and they have always the same structure and they uh, answer three questions. So what problem does this lesson solve? What is the solution and when to use it? And I was using this learning um, patterns especially at the beginning of my work and I used the one um, which is called securing project visibility and success by having a showcase early on. This is a learning pattern uh, shared by, shared by um, Tarja Cibulska from Wikimedia UK. And it helped us to um, organize very short Wiki, Wiki residents uh, in the National Museum in Krakow. So I really found it very useful. Uh, as we have like in the movement a lot of different kinds of meetings and conferences, there is some knowledge that is online and that we can make a use of it. I really like the presentation that was on Glam Wiki conference in Tel Aviv. Uh, it's a, a presentation of again Daria Tsubuska and it's uh, on uh, the understanding the attitude of Wikimedia UK to the role of Wikipedia in residence. And I'm telling you about that not because it's very easy to adopt to our uh, situation, but because it's not, <laughs> to be honest. But it helps me to understand this position uh, in a broader context. And I see, I, I'm more able to see the differences because I know that there are differences between 
uh, Vicky residences in UK and for example Vicky residences in Serbia because I had a lot of conversations with Gorana Goliath and both of these uh, experiences are valuable and I can use uh, some of the um, some of them to uh, to my uh, to, to, to my work. Another interesting uh, presentation that is relevant to uh, our needs in Poland is the presentation of Mike Dickinson, Nine Vicky Steps. Mike shows in this presentation how to how to help small organizations to prepare to work with Wikipedia. So I really encourage you to uh, watch it and. The latest one, my latest discovery, is the presentation of Richard Nevel on the project Connected Heritage. But what I found there especially interesting is how they use this program and events dashboard. I saw that you use this program, but I uh, see that they are using this uh, program to um, monitor all the uh, collaborations. So um, I hope to uh, get some more uh, understanding how it works. And it's not a resource, but it's a tool, perplexity. Um, I use this AI tool uh, also to look for uh, lessons from others. Um, Lately, when I was preparing a text for uh, our GLAM a wiki page together with Fiola Drzewakowska, our communication manager, we were looking for some of, some of the examples, uh, examples of small institutions um, that led to uh, a significant increase in the popul popularity of its collections. Uh, uh, while working with Wikipedia, and we usually, I, I think that we usually operate the same um, examples. Like many of them are from um, Northern America, for example. And to be honest, they are not really relevant to our situation. So uh, I was looking for some European examples, and. I found the uh, Jakob Smits Museum, a small museum from Belgium, and I like perplexity because it shows us the source of information. So it led me to the uh, DIFF article about this collaboration. So for me then it's easier to use it because I know that this is a reliable source. Um, Besides the knowledge that we have uh, online, I also believe uh, that the best way to uh, share knowledge and seek for support uh, are different kinds of meetups. And we have, uh, in Europe, we have European Glam Wiki coordinators uh, meetups. The in-person meetups were uh, started by Liam Wyatt and after the last meetup in Prague in 2022 we initiated the online meetups and we meet every two months and together with uh, Michelle van Lanskog and Giovanna from Wikimedia Foundation we are organizing these meetups for people so they could exchange their knowledge and they are open if you would be interested to join them, uh, you, you could do that. The idea is that uh, in the first part, we have a presentation. So there is a, we invite some guests that we can learn from. And this is like a learning part. And the second part, which is even more uh, valuable for us, is a sharing moment. It's a time when each of us has space to just talk and say, what are our needs now? Maybe we are looking for, for some kind of support. Maybe we want to share some lessons with others. And I find this part really valuable. Uh, another meetup that was very valuable, uh, it's 
took place during the um, pre-conference days of Wikimania, and it was GLAM Global Meetup. It was a um, self-driven initiative, um, and uh, we can, you can find some more info about the, uh, the, the Meetup on the Wikimania, uh, uh, Wikimania page, but the result of this meetup is a strong need of people to organize this kind of global meetups of GLAM Wiki community online. And we have some tentative dates uh, of uh, this meetups. Uh, and they will be organized uh, each month, alternating from mornings to, to um, afternoons, uh, so in order that people could join from different uh, time zones. Uh, I, I believe that uh, there will be a strong communication inviting all the people to join this uh, meetup. But if you would like to join organizing team, please just email me or Michelle. And another source, another uh, way uh, to seek for support or share our lessons are different kinds of communication channels. I mean, mailing lists or telegram groups. I know and I'm aware that we are very busy and for me, uh, to be honest, it's uh, quite challenging because uh, they are all in English and there is like a lot of, you know, communication there. So for me, it's very hard to catch up with all the conversations that are happening there. But I'm also aware that if I will be in a strong need to solve some kind of solution or maybe looking for some case studies, which is not so easy to find, I can go there and ask people for help, and I'm sure they will help me. Okay, so this was the theory, <laughs> and um, like my lessons learned, and the way I uh, learned from others. But I, I wanna, if we have still some time, do we? Yeah, a few minutes. Uh, so I just want to ask you, how do you learn from others? Mm -hmm. Do you know all these pages that I show? Maybe you are somehow surprised or... Anyone? Some page I think we know, some page not. Okay. Because it's surprised because you didn't mention some project like, I don't know. Uh, the story starts from one more page, you know, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, I believe that as I um, as I shared with you, that we have to like transform this ocean of knowledge into like the smaller pieces that are relevant to our needs. So I guess that you might prefer other sources, um, but uh, I encourage you. Uh, to find this time to sharpen your saw because it's really, it really helps us to uh, be more effective but also be more innovative at our work. Okay, so I have like my birthday wish <laughs> at the end of my presentation. So I want you to think of one small step you can take uh, to learn from others. And this is, uh, to be honest, my birthday wish. I want you to take that step next week. Okay? And I have some sweets for you. <laughs> Poland. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>